I'm gonna go with doppelganger outfit because that's objectively the best. And I'm ready in five, four, three, two, one. All right, so this is Lara Croft in the Temple of Light, or Guardian of Light, sorry. And it is um, an isometric game, much like Diablo. Uh, isometric platformer. And it is very broken. It's not as broken as the game I played last night, which was uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary. But it is extremely broken, and a lot more fun in my opinion. Um, yeah. The first skip you might have noticed, um, or trick, is when I jumped over the wall at the very beginning. Um, you do that. Uh, in this game you get these things, uh, you get mines, and you hit Y to throw them underneath you. And uh, if you hit Y immediately after you throw them underneath you while you're in midair, you will explode them and it causes you to get a little bit more distance than uh, your normal jumps. So this first level is pretty basic. Um, there's not too many skips to it. Um, and if, in case you haven't noticed, I you get in this game, you get these spears, which you can throw anywhere on these walls, and you can jump on them, which are obviously were not very well implemented. But that's basically the main gimmick of this game. Um, right now, I'm, I'm going to get out of bounds using them. So I throw two spears right there while I'm falling, and then I can bomb boost out of bounds over here to skip about roughly like a minute of the level. Um, and then I can jump back in bounds right here. And then here's probably the hardest trick of the game. Um, it doesn't really matter if I get it or not, it's not like gonna waste too much time. It wastes probably about 4 seconds or 5 if you don't get it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ball there, and then I'm gonna try to boost it onto the pad. And it looks like I barely missed, so I'm just gonna have to put it on manually and then run around and wait for the fire. So yeah, that wastes about 5 or 6 seconds, but it's no big deal. And um, the world record for this game, uh, I used to hold it. Um, my PB is 23.46 in game time, and uh, that used to be world record until like a week ago, where someone came and got a um, 23.17, I think it is? I don't know, he blew my run out of the water pretty much by 30 seconds, because I died in my, my world record once. But I think um, I should have it back pretty soon, if I can actually start playing this game again. What does that translate to to real time? Um, real time is about third. That's like 20, 28, 29 minutes, I think. I don't know. I I haven't timed it in real time since I've started playing this game. Cause um, someone uh, in the community made a in-game timer that's accurate to the like third of a millisecond. I don't know. It's really accurate. So that's what everyone uses. Um, I just got a 250 on that level, that's pretty awful. Uh, generally you want to aim for a um, 237, 238. But that's because I missed the ball skip and I missed a few spears. But normally I, I reset a lot on that level if I don't get like in the 230 area. Um, right now we're going to my favorite level in the game. It's probably the most broken of all the levels. Um, and I'm going to show off a really, really, really cool trick that I would have never thought of doing in a million years. If I were routing this, that is. So right now I'm going to activate the ball um, to roll down the hill. And I'm going to kill these enemies over there to get them out of my way. They're off the screen, so I, and then I'm going to bomb boost the ball way down here. Oh shit, I think the enemies are still alive. It's unfortunate. Whatever, kill him. And then I'm going to boost the ball all the way up these stairs. And then now it's at the top of this uh, stairwell. So I put the bomb. Oh shit, I fucked up. Uh, no big deal. Nice. Yeah. I was trying to explain and I wasn't paying attention. Alright. <laughs> so I put the troop mine underneath the um underneath the ball. And then while uh, I'm and then I climb up the ball, and while I'm climbing up it, I explode the trip mine. And while you're climbing up the ball, you have a few seconds to like stay on the ball, even no matter what, while it's moving. So you can get enough height while you're on the ball to jump over the invisible wall covering the uh, door. And skip the to the end of the level. Oh shit. <laughs> and um, essentially what you want to do on that other level 
is uh, you have to get four keys to get to the end. You have to like scat they're all scattered up the level. And uh, you have to get those to open the door. But I just skipped it all. And I just died there because I'm stupid and I wasn't paying attention. Um, this level is probably one of my favorite for ILs because it's just so straightforward. And uh, it's got a lot of skips and fun tricks to it too. Um, so right here you're supposed to like hit that little ball thing that's spinning around the stick into a hole to get past it, but you can just jump around it if you go over there. I don't know if that was intentional or not because I have no idea what the point of that other half of that broken bridge is otherwise, but it's convenient that's there I guess. And then the main objective, this is the spider's tomb, that's the name of the level. So the main objective of the level is to get to the end. Um, like hit these three switches to open the bridge all the way down there and at the end you have to fight the spider queen but we're not going to do any of that instead we're going to hit two switches and then we're just going to skip to the end so right here i can just bomb boost over these stairs and then use a spear to jump up here where i'm not supposed to i don't think was intended to get to and then i can bomb boost across the gap onto the bridge and now i'm at the end of the level so what company made this game um, I believe it's made by Eidos as well. Huh. Just like most uh, Tomb Raider IPs. Um, this level's- I, I'm, I'm running the game on New Game Plus, I guess I should have mentioned that, because um- Fucking drop the game! Whoa, 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 wait, let me explain myself! But, no, no, I- No, I have a good reason. If you want to restart the game on New Game, like, uh, fresh, you have to delete a file in the- in the thing. Plus, all the like cool skips are only available on New Game Plus with the items. Um, so right there on that boss, I just used a really overpowered weapon to kill him. He's not that hard to kill regardless, but that's what I did. Oh, um, I just missed a huge skip. All right, so that the this level you're supposed to get four balls, five or six balls actually, put them on switches. And um, prior to like that little door skip I just did, um, you, you would like have to jump over the door in like this really specific pattern. But that door skip, there's like just a little tiny little crack that you can get through. And if you um, roll, then jump, and uh, hook shot, it'll actually clip you through the door. If you do it like you're really like within like a few frames of each other, it'll clip you through the door. So that's what I just did there. Skipped basically the entire bullshit section of this level. And now we're on to Toxic Swamp, which is probably the longest level in this game. And um, my least favorite, because it's the longest. <laughs> it looks like and there's always one skip that screws me over. So right here I'm going to roll on the edge of the map to skip a cutscene um, that wastes about 6 seconds where you just watch these crocodiles spawn. And then I'm going to skip another cutscene right here by going to these rocks, throwing a spear over here, and then jumping up here. That skips another cutscene where the uh, main boss like speaks to you and opens a gate. But you don't really need to watch it. And then I'm gonna use the grenade launcher to get both of those at the same time. Now we get to watch an amazing cutscene where nothing happens. And um, the objective of this level is to go through like four of these couple of temples to activate switches to get to the end, but um, these temples are conveniently placed in such a way that I can jump on them and get out of bounds. So right here I can just jump up here, um, onto this ledge, throw a spear right here, and then bomb boost up here except for I died. I almost just hit reset game due to fucking <laughs> muscle memory. Anyways. What's your personal best of this game? My personal best is 23 minutes 46 seconds. Fuck. This is your favorite Tomb Raider? Oh yeah. Of all, of all the Tomb Raider games you speedrun? Definitely. This one's just the most fast paced and it's got the coolest tricks. So um, what I did there is I just skipped basically the entire level. I've got to go over here to um, 
activate a trigger to load the rest of the level because if I just kept going to the right um, like any normal person would uh, the game this like the rest of the, this little area wouldn't load and uh, your game would crash so now I'm out of bounds again but then I can I don't even know if that was intended you can just walk out of bounds right there and not die and then you just jump on the rest of the level Wow, I actually got that first try. I usually have to like shoot a couple times before I get that. Yeah, there's not really much to explain here. You just go through it like normal. And obviously I'm rolling through the game because it's faster than just walking. So right here, next up is the uh, ball puzzle, I guess. You just gotta shoot this ball and then roll it to the end. I'm just gonna bomb boost it it's a little bit faster. I usually end up bomb boosting these fucking spears though, I'm killing myself. Because I suck. Alright, I got it. <laughs> First try. Actually, that was pretty nice. This is actually a pretty good toxic swap so far. Actually, no, it's not. I lied. I died that one time, didn't I? You will soon see the darkness this And then now we're at the end of the very end of the level. Um I just gotta pull those two switches you see up there and then run around in a circle and come back. Ah oh, shit, I when did I not pull? Oh no, I was just going really slow for some reason. That was really weird. I've only seen that happen one other time. Where that um, little thing I pulled out pulled out way too slow. Yeah, lever. So now we're done with Toxic Swamp. Just gonna ask, have you done the uh, have we talked about the cooperative aspect of speedrunning this game? Uh no. The cooperative acts uh cooperative Part of this game is so much different from single player that's like almost not even the same game. Like the uh, the multiplayer, you can basically like clip out of bounds fucking everywhere and teleport through doors, and it's fucking ridiculous because it, like the net code for this game is so like fucked up that it created a lot of lag, and you can just walk through shit through the lag. Yeah, I've seen so many SRGs done a run of that co-op. I can't remember. Who oh yeah, that's um, Fatalis probably. He's the only like person I know of that actually runs this co-op or Cody. Yeah, I, I was uh, I remember talking to you about this game in uh, in Link at some point. Um, do you want to explain why MD Plus is so important? Why are you playing? I already I already did that. Don't worry. Uh, okay, alright, good. He's just making sure. Here we all know that new game was the pure for the people. Oh yeah, I agree. But not for this <laughs> game. But um, this is Flooded Passage, and fun fact, I actually have the IO world record for this game. I'm going to brag a little bit there. Um, this one's also my one of my favorites to do IL runs for because it's just so smooth. You just go in one thing, there's no nothing that stops you, no cutscenes or anything. It's just one big level that you run through. Actually, no, there is one cutscene I love. But you can skip it. And it's this one right here. Got it from the chat. He says, uh, your voice cracks are the worst. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Streamer, thanks, Alright, so um, at the end of this level right here, you just gotta hit the lever and get the ball to uh, break down this wall to go to the end of the level. And um, it was recently found out that you can just roll against this wall while the ball comes down and you won't actually get crushed by it, surprisingly. Have you explained bomb flying? Oh, uh, yeah. Cool. It's my favorite trick. Alright, so 154, that's not bad at all, actually. Um, this level is uh, the Belly of the Beast, I think is, is what it's called. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to this level, because all you do is run to a straight, in a straight line and you get to the fucking end, because it's just a uh, auto-scroller. Not an auto-scroller, but any auto-scroller. I don't know. You just fucking run to the end and it's over. I 
think they were... Oh shit, I'm stupid. <laughs> I didn't even jump. I think they got like... I don't even know. Bored one day. They just, they just couldn't come up with any levels. They were like, fuck it, let's just make a straight line. If I roll fast enough, I can just, or if I just keep rolling, I can go under these pillars before they actually fall and kill me. They're pretty much useless. Now all we have to do is kill this giant fish thing that's following us. And the door will open automatically somehow. Alright, so this next level is uh twisted bridge. And it is dumb because of these two spear throws you have to get. This is the first one. Um I don't know. It seems I got it. Uh, if you jump in midair and you hit your little grapple hook, you actually get a little bit more air than just a normal jump. So that allowed me to get on top of that pillar so I could jump out of bounds right here. Alright, so right here I'm gonna get out of bounds again, but first I gotta throw the spear right. Maybe that'll work, I don't know. Um Ooh, Okay, yeah, that barely worked. <laughs> Alright, so um I had to throw that spear right there so I could jump onto that obviously and then I could skip to the end of the level. Alright, so this next level is um, Fiery Depths, and this is the one I die on the most, because it's got a pretty hard, it's got a rough section at the very end of it. It's just three like incredibly brutal tricks after another. I'm just going to jump and um, skip a little, that little bit of stairs right there. Ah, shit. Cool. Do you play as Laura? Or do you play as Ponytail? As Laura? Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've never played play co-op because I have no friends. Wow. Okay. I have the game. I'm sorry. It's been a while, but I want to bring this up. We should We should do co-op. I'm sorry. We should really just do it. We should just do it. Fine, then. Yeah. We should. Before you do it. Before you go up to work. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so right there I had to, um, I, like, there's supposed to be a gauntlet with a bunch of enemies. But, uh, instead I just threw a spear and jumped out of it. Um, you have to jump near the door as well, otherwise the rest of the level doesn't load for some reason. Right here is probably one of the, har the harder tricks in the game. You jump down here, and then at the last second you hit the grapple so that you just don't take fall damage. Because, um, if you're on a... If you hit a grapple hook, you, you, like, I don't know, fucking, uh, take less fall damage. Because you're obviously not as falling as far. And then that section right there, you're supposed to hit a bunch of switches to move the, um, flamethrowers, but, uh, instead I just jumped on top of the statues and jumped over it all. And then right here, I spear again to get out of bounds. And then hopefully, if I do this right, I can bomb boost past the trigger the um, wall and skip the entire gauntlet. That was Fiery Depths. Um, basically the rest of this level is just this thing. 
you say that's the hardest level? Yeah, this is definitely the hardest level in the game right here. This is one I die on almost every time. And it makes me reset almost every time. I guess I spoke too soon. I just died on a fucking easy ass jump. Uh, R.I.P. On an easy spin jump? Yeah. Easy spin bridge jump? Literally auto jump. And I died to it. Goddamn. R.I.P. I guess to talk about jumping in this game though, like, as a... On a oh, I saw it just now. That's, that's disappointing. But to talk about it from a perspective of somebody who doesn't run this game, but just recently started playing it for fun, just jumping in this game is extremely disorienting at times. Oh yeah, it's got like this mechanic, I don't know why they installed this. Like, it's called auto jump, or everyone calls it auto jump. And it'll just jump for you at random times, and it's really stupid. And you cannot turn it off, either. There's like an achievement in the game where you have to jump from pot to pot without touching the ground. Yep, and it is actually extremely hard. I did it, but it took me like 10 minutes of just solid trying to jump. Yeah, it's so stupid. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't think it's in Temple of Osiris. I keep missing this guy. Holy shit. Alright, so next is um, Fiery Pass. Stronghold Passage, I mean. And um, basically, they just copy and pasted this door from the third level, fourth level. I can't remember. Fourth level. Uh, so you can just do the exact same trick where you just jump through it. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna kill this guy because he's annoying me. There we go. How are bosses on New Game? Uh, they're very easy. You just one-shot them with your spear pretty much. Oh, on New Game? Yeah. Um, they're just <laughs> stupid gimmicks, like... Oh my fucking god. I'm not paying attention right now. They're like, the dinosaur boss, you have to lead him into, like, fucking spear traps to kill him. Um, for the second dinosaur, I think you have to do something somewhere, I don't know. So I'm moving one exactly is the giveaway. Um, after the marathon. Uh, right. basically, we'll probably be trying to figure out exactly the, uh, like who gets what towards the end of it, and people will get their prizes. No problem. More information All right. comes, but it is real. It's real, nigga! Right, I'm just gonna close the I chat on We'll have information sent out, like our incentive sent out probably, like, within the week or two. Which will be literally like ten times faster than SDA. Is when yeah. do we have incentives? I mean, the only one we have in send is uh, the panties. That's on the way, Plum. Don't you worry. Sorry, I literally paused the speedrun there. Uh, the chat says hello to your mom, Stingray. Uh, it was actually my dad, but you know, I could try. The chat said hello to your mom. I don't, they don't give a fuck about who that <laughs> <was>. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this is the second to last level. Basically, I'm just gonna spear out of bounds here, and then bomb boost. What even is, what even is the guy's name? What? I can't even remember. The guy's name Oh, is Zoltul, something like that? I don't know. Yes, yeah, some dumb name. But I'm right here, yeah, I just spear boosted out of bounds like normal. You know, it's a no normal thing in this game. <laughs> just a reminder, everyone, coming up in a little bit, the, uh... William Shatner's Tech War, which is the closest game with the donation incentive. Ooh. It's for 80% um, no vert, 80% right, so keyboard. Alright, so right there is a pretty hard trick. You have to um, jump from that little Statue of Liberty thing, the torch or whatever, I don't even know. And um, you have to bomb boost it just the right time so that you get boosted into the final cutscene. And sometimes you can mess it up and overshoot it, and if you overshoot it, you'll get put into like a different area of the game. And you'll basically get soft locked. Pretty unfortunate, but I got it that time, so. A few other things coming up. Uh, Mystery Game from Zach SK. And Castle of Castlevania Wanda of Blood by Roblox. And then after that, it's Crazy Taxi by Two Dose. Ooh. Of Crazy Taxi thing. <laughs> Nothing else. And then after that, it's Survival Kid. It's a very, very short game. Or a very long game. It has like eight different endings, I think. Maybe more. 
Right now I'm on the final level. Basically this boss is just a giant gauntlet and there's really no too many ways to speed it up. There's no tricks or anything. Just gotta survive. Which I seem to have a very hard time doing sometimes. <laughs> Junior, why aren't you playing the game the way that Death Rover is intended to be said? Because that's for losers. Right. Did, did the developers intend to make a good game? Uh, I don't know. They made a good speed game. That might have been their intention. I almost died there. <laughs> nice off. <laughs> I'm just seeing you, like, barely moving out of the way with these though. Oh shit. Ah! Get him! Get him! Die! Oh my god, dude, he keeps like accidentally dodging. Holy shit, nice dog. What the fuck is that in the background? Like, like... <laughs> what? Oh and no. You're, like, a is it. Did you hear like a movie or something? Is there a child in a movie? Oh yeah, I'm watching Akira. Okay. <laughs> He can't put up all the spikes at once, that takes too much magic. Yeah, come on now. Didn't you read the lore? The lore? You know nothing about this Learn game? The lore. <laughs> Learn the lore. Boy. Learn Laura. You commanded the Game Boy Color. Laura Croft is the best one. Alright, I can get a lucky. I can get an early hit on him right there before he actually jumps at the light sphere from quick enough. But uh, yeah, I'm already back to more gauntlet bullshit. I remember that being a real wanted to direct a live action Akira movie. That would be awful. interesting part of Laura Croft lore. Fuck Vino, I didn't read it. <laughs> Probably the fact that she got breast cancer that one time. Yeah, that breast cancer. I do remember that. I think that's the most interesting spot. Gaming in the Clinton years. The age of darkness that feel when you never game in the Clinton years? Were you born in 2000 then? <laughs> Maybe. You like 12, Stig Ray? Yeah, how did you know? You caught me. Oh, it's probably your voice cracking. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually a jailbait stream. That's why stream. I did it today, because he has the weekend off. <laughs> exactly. Like school on Monday. How'd you know? Alright, so here's the best move ever designed in this game. Um, he will drop lava balls on you, but if you just stand still, they will not hit you because there's a giant gap in between his little AoE. So, uh, yeah, you can just stand still. I mean, showing the power of a true god right now. But is it his final form? Ah, it is his final form, surprisingly. She has like 10 forms in this fight. I know, what the fuck? And then one more hit, and then I'll call time. Alright, and... If he dies, come on. Time. How awful was it? Is it even in... Is it even within 30 minutes? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's like... On stream right now, it's like 29 minutes right around that. If time was when you hit him last, then there was a 28.50 something. All right, like sweet. 55. Alright. Good job, man. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Record. Yeah, new world record. Was it actually a world record? <laughs> no, not even close. Alright. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm gonna go now.
It was very nice to watch. You did great, Stingray. Thanks.